Hello everyone, welcome back to the PunchCast. This episode, instead of doing our normal news and discussion, we're going to be going over the upcoming winter 2019 anime lineup. And together with me today, we have Salty Sully. Yay. Hexbeard. Hi. Reem. Hello. Hamza, official English. And they could have just asked him to Yeah, edit that exactly. They could have yeah. just, just asked me to do that. <laughs> no, it's more dramatic. I, I'm more dramatic if I do it like this. All right, so yeah, everyone's here. So yeah, I'm here. Hey. And still a retard. No, nope. we see. That, that's uh, just like Smash Bros. Everyone. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to smash him in the face. Ah, okay. Man, Anime. Hexbeard slash Rahimasaurus slash Comicsaurus is being very Slash Old Man <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah. How many names are you going to add? How many times are you going to stop reading and rereading DC? Okay, okay, this is getting a little bit personal. <laughs> Personally. Um, <laughs> Welcome so, to the episode of Frostcast. <laughs> yes, um, I don't think we're all going to like, still be friends after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be a solo podcast, or maybe just me and Reem. Like, hey, no, no, no. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all going to be here. But you're so I still here. like I just saved you. He was actually, going close to the mic and I yeah, pushed him away. Actually, that's true. Yeah. So. I still, I still, no, no, I still like Hamza. He's a, he's a nice you don't, you don't. It's show. questionable. Okay, guys. All right, so we're all lovey-dovey now. <laughs> so going back, we got a new lineup of anime for Winter 2019. Because, you know, 2018's ending, but it's been a fantastic year of anime. Um, Has it? Has yeah, it? yeah. It's actually, it's a really yeah, good year for up. anime. Depends. Uh, Depends what type well, of anime. Well, see, I binge watch. everything a season late, so. Yeah, we, we don't ask yeah. for your opinion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, then why is he here? <laughs> no, 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 okay. He's, he's here for the unpopular opinion factor. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Okay, no. Like against me. No, okay, listen. We I'm you. not. Here. Everything this is why it's been a fantastic year of anime. We've got so many anime coming back that. Jojo. Won- yes. Jojo, among many others that we thought would never come back and they came back, like Full Metal Panic, High School PXD. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the list. I, I, I'm already sold. For me. I'm, I'm already sold, just from the first two. <laughs> yes, and then you got Lupin the Third, which was oh, like yeah. the best anime of this year. That no one watched. Fucking fight. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one you showed us? I showed you a movie one time, The Castle oh. of Cagliostro, which is also... Oh, that's no, we good. watched two of them, right? No, I wanted to show you Spray of Blood, but we did not have time. Because I feel like I oh, remember watching... Oh, is that the watching Samurai a- versus Axe guy? Okay. Yes. Um, and then of course you know Gona Guy had his big year this year with uh, Mazinger Infinity Devilman Crybaby and uh, Cutie Honey Universe it's been a really good year we got reimaginings of classic old series like Kitaro and Megalobox which was for Ashida no Joe so yeah and you know original animes too like Zombieland Saga and uh, Dragon Pilot I think a couple others Dragon Pilot wasn't that great that was okay I didn't finish it yet but still for an original and then it came on Netflix I mean beautifully animated though, yeah so yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, yeah. The Fist of the North Star CGI. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 conveniently the left that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. Also, Baki came back. Also, Steins Gate Zero came back. Steins that, Gate that, Zero. That nice. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I haven't stuff. seen Steins Gate or Steins Gate Zero, but Digibro has been hating on Steins Gate Zero. Is it bad? Well, well, Digibro doesn't count in this punchcast. We are a punchcast of love just... and friendship. Are and we? Digibro. Are we? You and Digibro. Me. Okay, okay. It's not one of us. Yeah. Does Digibro we actually have to underrated. restart this podcast because there's too much hate in the first recording. <laughs> so, anyways, on to the, the, the winter anime lineup. First off, we have an anime we talked about previously, but we're going to talk about it again. Mob Cycle 100 Season 2. Yeah. It's coming out in the winter tonight. I'm actually season. really excited. Sam, yes. I'm like, so excited. I, have, I haven't read the manga because I'm waiting for Season 2. Once Season 2 finishes, I think that I'm going to Yeah, even I didn't read the, the manga because... The anime was coming up. So I, I was didn't... going to read the manga, and then fucking was like, <laughs> anime, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So, I read the manga. I completed it. It was great. Uh, probably one of my favorites. Oh. Uh, a lot of surprising uh, emotion that I was not expecting from it that we'll hopefully see this season. Of course, Bones is going to deliver some fantastic animation. Hopefully. No, I mean, they, 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 they have a good track. Hey, hey, no, yeah. see, I, I, in my experience, ne- never, like, state facts before they are... Look, the only, the only thing they could do is do a madhouse and fuck. The, yeah, you know, exactly. That's that's like the worst that could happen. But see, this is bones. Anyways, yeah. as long as they give me that paint on glass animation, I'm good. Yeah. I'm waiting for Dark Horse to release the... Uh, official Psycho. English. Oh, yeah, the official English. <laughs> yeah, oh, Horse God. English. I mean, look, that's pretty interesting, though, because like for Mob Psycho, I mean, the art's pretty good when it wants to in the manga. Like, a lot of people are like, you know, it's kind of like a meme, oh, one can't draw, because, you know, it's not like... 
compared to like the One Punch Man redraw by Yusuke Murata. I mean, but it's kind of charming. Beautiful. Yeah, and Mom Cycle, there are plenty, especially later on, plenty of like fantastic panels where it's just like, wow, this is like really cool. No, even the like kind of stupidly drawn ones, they're kind of charming. Yeah, it has its charm. uh, One Punch Man came before Mom Cycle, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I think like he was getting his uh, style Mm because One Punch Man's very like gag like manga. But then the redraw became more Action. shonen and uh, like serious. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's like it's more serious. Like right now, there's they're in an arc that wasn't in the original uh, right. webtoon or whatever it was. Oh, they're adding extra stuff. Yeah, there's a whole tournament arc, which is probably season two, I think. There's something they do in the redraw of One Punch Man. Like some of the effects look like I can't describe it. Like really, really like three D and like how do you, what do you call that? Three D art. No, they're like really 3D, they're really like, no, they're really shiny as well. Yeah. They're really shiny, really like, I don't know, like feels like you can like touch the thing. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, read One Punch Man in a while because what I tend to do is once I catch up, I just wait for like a whole bunch of chapters oh, yeah. to come out. And then it, like, yeah, that's, One Punch Man that's what I've been doing with like Attack on Titan. I hate it. I hate like waiting an entire month oh, for a new chapter or, a, or an entire mm-hmm. week I'm, for a new I'm chapter. I'm doing that one piece chapter. right now. Of and what? I'm up to date. I haven't read it. Anyways, back that, to Mob Psycho. I'm doing that with One Piece right now, and I'm up to date with the official language for One Punch Man. Of course, the f- volume 15 is going to come out January. You know, you you before the podcast started, you were the one that said that we're going to run the joke into the ground. You haven't been <laughs> shutting up about official English well, since we started. Uh, it, he, I, I feel like he doesn't want time. it to yeah. die. As well. <laughs> I feel like you just don't want it to die also. Of course, no, he's getting like, the attention. Of course, he likes that's it. why I don't want it to die. Yeah, he's just talking about a joke. Yeah, I don't want it to die. Of course I don't. Uh, I want a shirt and everything. Yeah, <laughs> I swear to God, for your birthday, we'll crowdfund it together. <laughs> we'll get you an official English cap. Okay, so by the way... Guys... A whole outfit. By the way, guys, best anime coming out January 2019. Don't skip ahead, please. Yeah, please. yeah don't skip ahead. We, we, don't, we'll oh, yeah, ahead. for those of you listening, you could go on uh, my anime list. Just go on the winter 2019. Uh, no, section. don't go there. Put it on the link ahead. in the description below. Why would we leave a link? They can just go themselves. Yeah, we will leave a link in the description. Oh, it's called... <laughs> Hamza. Hamza, it's called being nice to your audience. Yes, yeah, so again, it's we're, we're all hard. about friendship. Everyone knows my anime list. What we're all about friendship and not, love. You would not believe, as someone who's been doing stuff on YouTube, how lazy... Be- Sometimes you could say it's... Click the link down below. They won't even click. Click. So... Yeah, um, that's just how it was. But anyways, moving I, on. Uh, I didn't know this. Okay, uh, never mind. Or, <laughs> my anime list, it says Warner Brothers Japan is a producer for Mob Psycho? Uh, you know, that's possible because I think they're also connected to JoJo. Really? Uh, yes. Yeah. But uh, while he's doing that, we'll just move on very quickly to the next anime, which is also another sequel series, which is uh, Kakeguri XX. Did anyone watch Kakeguri? Yes. How did you enjoy it? Okay, I'm gonna get shit for this. No, it's okay because I dropped it. So oh, nice. if it's a controversial opinion, I'm like I'm probably right there with you. It started well, like I like the idea of the concept, but then it just turned to like a fuck fest, like literal just horny guys watching a girl just orgasming while she's playing. So the yeah. Ahegao faces get tiring. Yeah. Basically. Really? Uh, no, here's the thing. Here's I love the thing. I, I love when a series like there's a manga called Tomodachi Game, which kind of does the same thing. Oh. Where like, uh, yeah. I know. So they kind of like main character is like super smart or super good at whatever. So here she's like super good at gambling, but then at one point she doesn't do any for smart moves. She literally just goes like, "Yeah, fuck it, I'm just lucky." Oh, okay. You see, I was watching it. I kind of dropped it because like at the same time I started watching a uh, kaiju. Which is another oh, yeah. good gambling anime. Uh, yeah, I've heard the gambling in Kakagori does not compare to other gambling anime. Yeah, because like for me, there's like I remember it was like one of the earlier episodes. I had to do like these little samurai swords or whatever. It was like way in the beginning of the show. Oh yeah, like the chest or the yeah has something Chinese like that. Chest. And like I wasn't under like I'm not sure. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to it. But a lot of the games they played, like I don't feel like were fully explained. And because of that, I couldn't really follow the game. And I'm like, I'm just watching people just having, like, mm-hmm. orgasming over... I mean, it's hot, but, like, that can really <laughs> get me through so long. Uh, does it have yandere's? Does it? It seems like something that would. I think yeah. it do- I th- Okay. Because if it does, I have to. Uh, they have the yon part, I think, not the dairy part. They don't have the dairy part? <laughs> the yon yeah. part. I like crazy chicks, though. They're all okay. crazy. Trust me, they are all... Well, I, I, look, crazy. Look at my, these are my wife from Revy. You know. 
La Latina Darkness. I know you're about to report taste. I'm just talking about <laughs> these oh, words. Oh, oh, oh. Anna, Anna, the silver-haired girl from Shimonetta. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Is she Yandere? Oh, yes. No, but so, she's very sexual. That's it. No, so that's it. But, like, no, she will stab uh, the main character. Yeah, I mean, like, sleep, like, sniffs another girl. Yeah. Right? yeah. I don't know. <laughs> There's also that trust one me, scene me, where she, she like, bites off the main character's, like... Zipper? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then there's like a wrestling move. Yeah, um, no, no, trust me, like he was sleeping next. Like, he didn't know, like like this. No, I watched girl, it, like, but I don't. Yeah, remember that her. girl with the penis head? What? <laughs> I feel like okay. I, no, the girl. I I, I zone out. Hair, yeah, remember it. Like, I zone out for ten seconds. I come back to girl with penis head. That's your fault. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. your fault. <laughs> I'm not saying it's anybody's fault. No, I know I it's think, my fault. Yeah, it is. So yeah, for those who I don't just, know, Shimonetta has this character with pink hair, and her hair from the back looks like the tip a of a penis. penis. Yes, a, 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 oh, and she's yeah. like an erotic that, artist. No, the, the other one's the erotic. The small one's the erotic artist. The, the one with the oh okay yeah. yeah. yeah so okay. it's been a while. Like, yeah, so then like yeah. you know, like she walks breaks in actually <laughs> into the main character's apartment and sees them sleeping together, and she's like, "What the fuck is this?" And he's like, oh, no, that's my sister. And the girl's like, yeah, fine, fuck it. I'll yeah, that wrong. sounds familiar. And then, like, she proceeds to, like, stab all around her. And oh goes like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were a family member. <laughs> but never touch him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's clearly yes. Yandere. The, the meanders. So, gambling yeah. titties. Oh, for those who know, no, I love Yandere. If you have any Yandere anime to recommend, I've probably seen it, but still send it to me. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, where did they hit you up? Oh, uh-huh. in the comments, in the comments, just, I'll, all be, right. there. I'll be looking, I okay. look through the comments, I sniff all of you, alright? Yes, that's <laughs> not good. Anyways, moving on, we got, oh my god, there's another series that I need, like, a new edition, Data Live 3. I hate this. Did you watch it? I've watched the first season and se- ha- half of the second season. The, the synopsis care. sounds very interesting. It's not, it's not. It is, okay, it so again, we're, I'm looking at my anime list, it just says the third season of Data Live. No, 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 no. What is it? It's typical no, no, no. hair I, I, I Google oh, the okay. actual the actual thing. It's it's uh, it comes out as you have seen it. I've seen tell it us what it is. No, I, I I've seen it a long time ago. I just I hate I, it. I, 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 I think Sully. Okay, your disappointment, Sully. You tell us. I don't remember hundred percent, but all I remember is that there's girls with special powers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There is a lolly with an eye patch that everyone's fucking with. Of course. With. Yeah. 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 And. Basically, the way he calms them down, and so they, they don't use their powers as he goes on dates with them. Oh, yes, wow. yes. And wait, but it, it says wait, it's a wait, mecha anime. Is yeah, it? Like, <laughs> no, it's, it's not exactly mecha. Wait, but I, all of this in mechs. Wait, one sec, I have a question. No, no, they're not in mechs. So, oh. Sorry, they're not in mechs. They're actually just like, have, you know the game series Toho? Oh, okay, yeah. They're basically it. those. Oh. Like flying girls with like a giant sword or like a Oh, dress. like infinite stratos? My, like, minus uh, the mechanical parts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, also, uh, the romance it doesn't go anywhere. Trust me, it doesn't. It's a harem. Come on. Where I know is it's it a harem, go? but like at the beginning, I was like, oh, maybe like find the other girls, but she's like the main girl, and their relationship was growing, and then it just like becomes stagnant. What I love about the anime though is how careful they are with the lolly, because she is underage, but they want to insinuate. Is it the blue-haired girl or the, sister? <laughs> the blue-haired girl? The blue-haired girl. Okay. So like she's yeah. underage, so they're like showing you scenes which you could inter- like you know you could interpret as dating. But then he doesn't actually do anything. Do anything yeah, so it's, it's yeah, like I, it's like a fine line they're walking, which I love. It's like how, how much can we get away before we get shut down? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, God. But wasn't she the same age as him? I remember them being the same age, like no, in the same I don't high think school. She goes to, no, she doesn't go to school. I think. I think oh, she wow. stays at so home. She's not like Wait, a what, lolly that just happens to be the same age as her. Oh, okay. I don't think she's the same age. I think I remember them being in the same like high school. Like, no, no, she didn't go to. Like, you know these type oh. of series, like what was it, like Magical Index? They have like that lolly teacher, but she's like twenty. So there's like an episode that shows you like she's smoking like a whole like mountain of cigarettes, don't shit drinking beer, teacher. and you're like, what the fuck? Don't shit on my lolly teacher. <laughs> <laughs> lolly sensei. Ah, oh, best character. No, I hate lollies. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Why? I don't. They're children. They're not. They are legal <laughs> children. No, they're not legal. <laughs> they're legal children. God, no, let's not dive into God, that territory. God, let's go oh, into... Oh, by the way, you are right. Jojo, one of those Japan. Yeah, there's a connection. It's a All right. They're, they're producers. So, you could say that conversation made a roundabout. Don't worry, I'll edit it in. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up is something I know uh, Sully will really like. It's the... Uh, it, it, right here, it's the Japanese name. But yes, Tateno Yusha. Yes, <laughs> you can tell us all about that because I know you're hyped for this. Oh fuck, man! Where did I start? I had to reread it once I found out it's the anime's coming. What are you doing? 
Um, okay, why are you showing me that? Anyways, sorry. For those who yeah. don't know, don't know uh, Hexbeard just put his phone in yes. the police face. Okay. So, Shield Hero is basically... <laughs> okay. Shield basically, hero. four, I would say, otakus, but they don't know each other. Oh, we're okay. transported to a fantasy isekai world. And they were all told you're like a hero of a weapon and you're supposed to fight waves of enemies. So the main character, his main weapon is a shield. He actually can't use any other weapon than a shield. So oh. he's kind of at a disadvantage. And then there's like the spear hero, the sword hero, and the bow hero. So the whole point is that they were all splitting up together and then no one joined the, t- the shield hero's team. And he kind of got, f- I don't want to spoil but he got fucked. Oh. Like, really hard, and he turned, like, very evil and... Gr- not evil, but, like, very revenge-oriented. And it's just his dark journey in trying to restore himself as a good guy. Oh, okay. That sounds interesting. Downloading yes. official English right now. It's ah. so good. I-, I see. So Hamza, right now, just downloading all the official English for everything. So he will be ready for this winter season. This girl looks cool. I like her. Yes. The blue-haired girl, yeah, yes. with the red eyes. Yes. Yes. Uh, for what anyone who read the manga, <laughs> for anyone who read the manga, they're looking at the the um, okay, what? How can I say this without spoiling? Uh, the cover. The, gr- the girl who got hurt by that mana shield. There we go. Done. Oh, no <laughs> one's gonna. Only people who read up to date will understand that. All right. So we got Shield Hero. Uh, it's gonna be doing. It's gonna be done by Kinema Citrus, which I believe is the same studio that did uh, Made in the Abyss. So Ooh. that should be pretty good. Actually, I think, I think the art style for Made in Abyss was suited so much. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. They did, Made in Abyss was so. They did beautiful. Black Bullet. Made in Abyss was. Oh, Made Black Abyss. Bullet. Oh, Made in Abyss's really manga is also really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, like the artwork is really. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, you like lollies? You probably watched Black Bullet. I watched it. I didn't like it. <laughs> Same. I didn't like it either. Uh, Barakamon. Oh really? Yeah, bro. Oh, that was a good anime. Yeah. Codebreaker, Tokyo Magnitude. They're gonna oh, do so second season. Wait, 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 wait. I, from the first two you mentioned, I mentioned I that there are lollies. The Which for what? The first two animes that they did. Black Bullet, Made in Abyss, and, and uh, Barakamon. So, yes, yeah, so all three are lolly based. Actually, yeah, and then also did that um, Usagi, the, the one. Usagi with the, drop? No, not Usagi drop. The uh, oh, uh, I forgot the one with the cafe girls, and they're like in the town full of this bunnies one? oh yeah yes that one Gochuman wa Usagi Desuka well there we go there are two lolly characters in shield here maybe that's why <laughs> there's also this Yu Yu Shiki yeah so um, the These lolly guys, studio so, so here's here's what we can Made expect under the dog crap no here's what we can expect the lollies yeah. are gonna be top quality <laughs> <laughs> the lollies get the best animation the main character is like a stilfer well, I would not mind. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. Okay. I'm joking. I'm like, how much did you like the show then? Uh, no, no, okay, just, uh, yeah. next up is another uh, highly anticipated Shonen Jump anime adaptation. Uh, Yokusoku no want Neverland. I, what? <laughs> what? See, this is why I wanted to promise, use Life Chart. Promised Neverland. Okay, yeah. there we go. Yakusoku. See, at least... Fine, it's I like, use MAL, you use Life Chart. But we're going to have different ones. <laughs> no, no, here, here's it's, it's the Japanese name on Life Chart as well. I, it's the I, same I, name. I, I that remember you, seeing it. Or you can English. just, you know, like open a new tab with the thing. And yeah, but if I open a new tab on the computer I'm recording with, it's going to corrupt the audio. I'll do it then. All yes, right, finally you. a use for you. I, I'm doing that anyway, but like we already know that Promise Never Land. So anyways, Promise Never Land. I forgot the title. Listen, there's a lot of other animes Sorry, in my brain right now. The Promise Never Land. It's The Promise Le- Never Land. I've heard Ye. really, really good things. Uh, although I've heard it's lost steam after a certain... Uh, God, I can't even talk about this without spoiling. Oh, you've been reading it? No, I know the premise and I know what's happened so far. Oh, Why do you spoil it for yourself? Yeah, that sucks. Uh, okay, I know like... Uh, I don't know. I was just very curious, and I just learned a lot about it. And like, oh well. Oh. I'm curious about this too because, like, I'm looking at the genre tags. I've heard it was good, but it's a sci-fi mystery horror shonen. This is a Ooh. shonen jump, so ha, Reem is fucked. <laughs> Why? It's shonen and horror. Oof. <laughs> but Oof. people like this one and sci-fi mystery. I like sci-fi and mystery. Yeah. So actually, I I, I just realized should we. Yeah, we should probably be reading. Oh, the well, the studio that did it. Yeah. Did Darling in the Franks, the yeah. funny girl sampler. Wait, what? How did they do Darling in the Franks? They did the Darling? collaboration. Oh, yeah. but I thought it was with A1 Pictures. Yeah. 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 Where's Trigger then? It was a three way? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let me check. Let me check. This is why you have. No it. wonder it's so fucked up. <laughs> this, okay, the studios involved were A1 Pictures, Trigger, and Clovers. Yes, it was uh, a threesome. Okay. Nice. Yeah. 
yeah. the, the X-Men. They did Bunny Girl Zephyr, they did Fairy Tale, the final series. Oh boy, Fairy Tale, my favorite. Persona 5, the animation one? Wait, done. it's the final? Yeah, it's the final series. Wait, they fi- I didn't know Fairy Tale finished, finally. Yeah. I need man- I, know I, I know the manga first. Oh, okay. I know the anime, anime yeah. I, I read the manga. Oh, no, it's the, it's in the middle of the Oh, okay. okay. It's not, it hasn't finished yet. So, yeah. anyways, Promise Lover never. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Falcon <The> Punch. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So, what? this anime is going to be about, like, it, according to the summary, at Gracefield House, life couldn't be better for the orphans. Though they have no parents together with the other kids and the kind mama. Who cares for them they form one big happy family just Aww. like us <laughs> just like us Aww. yeah uh, except you know forgetting about the beginning of this podcast um <laughs> no child is ever overlooked especially since they're all adopted by the about the age of 12 their daily lives involve rigorous tests but afterwards they're allowed to play outside what <laughs> i'm so this, confused this is an orphanage Yes, and they have rigorous tests and like. For what? I don't know. And then this has a horde. Oh uh, uh, no! So wait, wait, wait! I got it, guys. What? Mama is written with quotation marks, uh, so we're fucked. Ah. Uh, yes. Well, that's yeah, true. I like that. <laughs> I've heard it's very different. It's like very thriller based, and like there's a big mystery involved. It's very different for what Shonen Jump usually like produces, like their titles. Yeah, there's always again like these little series that just come out of Shonen Jump that's kind of like unlike everything else I mean yeah. I guess back in the day Death Note was kind of like that compared to everything else in Shonen yeah. Jump at the time yeah but uh moving on we got Shingeki no Bahamut Marinera Friends Marinera Friends uh did anyone watch the previous uh I watched Bahamut one episode mo- I said um, I'll get back to it I never did I, I watched I watched the first season midway through the second season because I found it a bit boring but the animation was pretty good oh there's a second season wow I'm so bad I'm so lost damn it yeah I have um, never heard of this before no but this is like a spin-off anyways Bahamut is like it's weird it's based off like this trading card game or it's an app game in Japan and they gave it like this super awesome well animated epic adventure anime for it they do that for a lot like I think Grand Blue not Grand Grand Blue does that uh, Steins Gate did that. Steins no, Gate, Steins Gate was, was based game. on a mobile game. No, it wasn't. It was based on a, like a dating sim game, not a mobile game. Yeah, and, like those usually get like animes like that. Like, yeah, no, like, da- like dating sim games get a lot of animes, but yeah. like Data Live, I think it was a dating sim. Ah. No, but uh, I don't know. Just there's a lot of animes that are based off mobile. There's Fantasy Star Online, which is a MMO in Japan. Oh, okay. So there are a lot of animes based off those. So yeah, like, I guess that's fun. You know, one dating sim I'd love to see as an anime, my horse prince. <laughs> I, I thought you oh were no! Oh my god! I thought, I thought you were going to say like the bird one. Oh. Um, that too. Uh, yes. Then, my bird prince. No, no, it's please, my uh, anyone had the, the full boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Please go to the app store or the play store and look up my horse prince, please. Why look it up? Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Just I mean, if they want to, Blindly, sure. just go buy it. While you're at it, go check out Heart of Full Boyfriend. And Heart of Full Boyfriend too. Yes. They made a sequel? I think so. I'm Wait, pretty I, sure there was. Oh, I'm not sure about it. But... See, it became Hamza, a go. Meme, so check. Be... <laughs> what do you want? Uh, Heart, Heart of Full Boyfriend 2. Have you seen Kitty Love? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, we're connecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, I, I guess every animal... Because I know there's, like, a dating symbol for an alpaca. It was yeah, like, that, yeah, I know oh. that too. Yeah. No, wait, wasn't it the phone game where you raise him? You raise your own alpaca boyfriend? No, th- I think that's an- another one. There's this other one where like the main character's girlfriend one day while riding the bus just transforms into an alpaca. It's getting a sequel. Oh, it's oh, getting it's, a sequel. Okay. The article is from 2015. Sorry. Oh, damn it. So it probably didn't happen. Yeah. Let me check Wikipedia. I guess people can only handle so much bird. Holiday Star. What is Holiday Star? Is that the sequel? Maybe. We'll find the out. The first one was not called Holiday Star. All right, so we'll just put this podcast Ooh. on hold for half of the boyfriend. <laughs> uh, just keep going. This is going to take a while. Okay, I'm worried about the next one. <laughs> yeah, okay. So next up, we have uh, Boogie Bop while worrying the... <laughs> what the... I'll, t- I'll say <laughs> no, no, no. Boogie Pop never laughs. Boogie Pop doesn't laugh. Boogie, okay, thank Boogie you, Pop wa- wara wanai. Ah, wara wanai, okay. Yes, you're much better in Japanese than me. Oh, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Madhouse. Well, I mean, well. After what mean... they did to Overlord, I, uh, sorry, oh, yeah, Overlord, I don't trust them. Oh, that was Madhouse. Huh? I am super I, salty. I, I, I've seen scenes of I'm Overlord. I'm so salty. <laughs> um, so, this is like, I think, like, either a spin off or sequel to Boogie Bob Phantom, which I've heard great things about. 
same. I've heard great things, but I don't know anything. I haven't, I haven't seen it. But anyways, the synopsis for this one is that there's an urban legend that can, tells of a Shinigami that can release people from the pain they're suffering. This angel of death has a name, Boogie Pop, because that's like yeah. that's a good name Boogie for Pop. It. Yeah, Pop. He pops your boogies. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Because <laughs> <laughs> you know in anime how they have those like little snot bubbles that come ah. out of kids. Apparently, Japanese kids that actually happens to them. That's why it's a thing in anime. Does it? Yeah, yeah. Because oh, why, yeah. why just Japanese kids? I don't. No, know. no, not just Japanese kids. It's a lot of kids okay. that happen. I haven't, look, I haven't seen a kid do that. I, I mean, I've seen like a baby that's sick do it, but not just like a normal kid just running around with a giant. Tell us in the comments. What have you if? Seen what a if? Kid? Okay, I know it's not Japanese kids; it's Hiroshima kids. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, this just took a dark turn. We're talking about snot bubbles and over to Hiroshima. How did Don't that worry, also Nagasaki. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, going back to a boogie pop. But anyways, bo- boogie pop is real. Yeah. When a when a rash. I can't stop imagining it now. <laughs> When a rash of disappearances involving female students breaks out at Shinyo Academy, the police and faculty assume that there are a bunch of runaways on their hands, yet some students know better. Something mysterious and foul is afoot. Is it Boogie Pop or something even... Why couldn't you give him a fucking better name? Boogie Pop, it's like rolls off the tongue. No, no, here's what's gonna happen. Boogie Pop. Boogie Pop. They're gonna... But that's, that does not send fear down my back. <laughs> that's why the police are like... Complacent. They, they're like, oh, it's Boogie Pop, stupid urban legend. It doesn't sound scary. And the kids are like, oh, no. What kind of Boogie urban Pop. legend would be called Boogie Pop? Well, then Excuse again, there's, me. there's the Candyman. Yeah. yeah. So. Have you heard of Kakima? 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 The Japanese yokai that shoves things up his ass and ma- forces women to eat them. <laughs> I've <have> not. Never... <laughs> and you love yokais. Kakima is the I only best. know as much as whatever Giga Guitar is. <laughs> Guitar no. hasn't gone that far yet. No, no. You... Kaki Man is the best yokai. That sounds like a superhero. No, no. <laughs> Kaki Man. <laughs> sounds like something going a guy would write. No, no. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm going to open Kaki Man. <laughs> oh, I, I don't want to see. It's just going to be an asshole. It's like a dog, giant asshole. <laughs> okay, wait. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not uh, Kaki uh, Man. I'll, wait, I'll put I don't a link for it. description. Wait, so. I'll Good figure it out what it was because apparently it's not Kaki Man. Maybe they were trying to like, you know, go mm. with the whole boogeyman kind of thing. I guess. But uh, yeah, Boogie Pop. I guess look forward to that. I think that should be good if it's anything like the original. Um, next up. Wait, can we just go back to How to Fall a Boyfriend for a second? Oh, please let this be the last sidetrack. <laughs> okay. Why are there birds? Cause, cause it's what? a pigeon dating simulator. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. They Wait, got a remastered you, in this holiday game, version. One wow. sec. In this game, do you as a human date a pigeon or is it a pigeon dating a pigeon? I think human, human dating pigeon. You're a human girl, and I think you date the pigeon. Yeah. yeah. What if you're a human guy and you want to date a pigeon? Can you get sure. a human pigeon? Sure. I, I guess. I mean, I haven't played the game. I've just heard about it. But it's like available like on Steam, PlayStation. I think it's like everywhere now. I see. App stores. But uh. Anyways, next up we have 3D Kanojo Real Girl Second Season. Never heard of this before. I have heard of it. I think I watched it. I can't remember anything. Cause I, remember... But I, I just like the title. 3D Kanojo, Real Girl. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I it's it's heard a this. 3D girlfriend. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's like, three... I think he's an otaku. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember this now. I've, I've seen clips. They look nice, but the ratings are not good on MAL for it. I mean, I don't trust MAL ratings anymore. I know, I know. You should take it with a big grain of salt. But yeah. like, oh, it looks good. I... I... I saw the official English volume as well. Of course. <laughs> of fucking course. That's how I knew about it. And I saw, oh, it has an anime. Anyway, so we don't know much about this one. Uh, MAL is just saying second season of 3D Kanojo. So we'll move on to Kaguya-sama wa kokoro shitai tensai tachi no rennai zunnosen. <laughs> or as the English name is, Kaguya-sama love is war. Yes. Hamzo will be handling the official English Also, names. the name of the author is yeah, Aka Akasaka. <laughs> that... Aka, Aka, Story and art by Aka Akasaka. What? Nice. How else do you pronounce that? <laughs> well, no, I'm Aka, like you know how some Aka, authors Aka, have Aka, like a like a. Akasaka. Oh, sorry. Say it fully, please. Aka Akasaka. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't go like Akasaka. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it, it's like, oh, oh, hi, oh Akasaka-san. <laughs> no, like, like, Akasaka-san. Akasaka. Okay. I, anyway, how do you pronounce yeah. that word? I love that. I've heard Akasaka. 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 
Speaking of cars and cars. Oh yes. Kaki man. I like how we So have you read Yokai Girls? I want to. I want He is there. That's that's how I was introduced. Wait, Yokai Girls was that. I'll show you. Oh, okay. I, I, I haven't gosh. seen this one. Yeah, so this is the image I'm going to send you. If I may speak plainly, my butt is far sweeter and cuter than your dirty ass. <laughs> that yes. is a quote from the manga. Yes, it Not is. the official one. It is so good. I say this to everyone I meet. <laughs> <laughs> sweeter than your dirty ass. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Sprinkle sugar on it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking pictures of yourself? Recording? Is it Why are you one? so quiet? Is it this one? Yes, that's the one. Okay. Hey, if you like Monster Girls, Yokai oh, Girls. Yes, I do. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes. We'll do a podcast on that Okay, soon. well, back to Kaguya-sama. I've heard, like, the premise is amazing. Can you please? Yes, okay. So here's the premise for Kaguya-sama. Considered a genius due to having the highest grades in the country. Oh, damn. Miyuki Shirogane leads the prestigious Seochin Academy Student Council as its president. Working alongside the beautiful and wealthy Vice President Kaguya Shinomiya, the two are often regarded as the perfect couple by students, despite them not being in any sort of romantic relationship. So basically, what it is is that these two, like smartest kids in school, like are really like each other, but because of their pride, don't want to confess to one another. So they're trying to make the other person confess to them, so mm. they can win this like. Stupid. That sounds uh, so familiar. Yeah, no, there's that other romance there, anime. There was a Arcano, manga. I think. I've heard uh, really, really good things and I'm really one of them. I'm really excited. I, I, know, uh, I know a few people that told me that they're looking forward to this. Yeah. So, only, like, okay. I might if, watch it. But I don't yeah. know if you guys saw this anime. I think it's called Inu X Boku. Inu X Boku. Oh, okay. I've heard of it. I haven't Why? seen it. Inu X Boku SS. The characters look like the two main characters look almost identical. Actually, yeah, like the guy looks just like a like they look the same. Yeah, especially the girl. Oh, I've oh, yeah. heard of this. Yeah, I I just saw it right now. Like, why did they look so alike? Well, to be fair, let me actually like let me get a better like. Wait, you know, X book is published by Square Enix. What the fuck? Okay, I'll get a proper like profile of the guy. And girl. Yeah. Anyways, what's next? Uh, yes. This so, is this is what they look like. Oh. Do you see? Yeah. Like I've read them. Yeah. I've watched it. I know how oh, they look. Oh, like. I'm telling you, they look alike. Oh, really? Okay. 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 Right. So, anyways, we got an anime that I know a little bit more about. Anime we... you can pronounce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I should just have like Sultan read the names in Japanese and Hanzo um, read the names in English. English. Yes. And I just read the synopsis. Um, anyway, so Dororo is a is a Osamu Tezuka ma- uh, manga that's finally getting a proper anime adaptation, which is great because. The past couple of years, they've been bringing back like Tezuka properties and trying to make them modern, and they've all failed. First, there was a uh, young Blackjack, which tried bringing back Blackjack, making him younger, like all by shonen looking, which I didn't like it that much. Uh, I heard it picked up towards the end, but I didn't like it. Then there's uh, Adam the Beginning, which is kind of like the prequel to Astro Boy, but it's before they actually make Astro Boy. It's like the prototype for Astro Boy but it has one of the most fucking dumbest moments and I've been salty about this since like when I used to do podcasts with the anime hero basically one episode there's this big science expo and all the like scientists are going there's this one guy and he's like at one of the most prestigious universities in Japan he's like look everyone come to my VR fridge and you just put on this headset and you're in the fridge and that's his big <laughs> Meanwhile, our main character made a fucking robot. Can you eat the food? No! You are the food. <laughs> <laughs> you just go into a fridge. Mind you, this is a feature where they're making fucking robots. Why? And anyways, that, that, that anime wasn't that good too. It, it tries way too hard in modernizing everything to the point that it kind of loses the charm of what made the original classic so good. This Dororo looks like it's taking a step in the right direction. And it's also done by Mappa, so it has good animation. But anyways, Dororo is about a samurai lord who has bartered away his newborn son's organs to 48 demons in exchange for Whoa. dominance in the battlefield. Oh. Yet, 
The abandoned infant survives thanks to the medicine man who equips him with primitive prosthetics. Wait, wait, wait. The medicine man? Yes, the medicine man. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Do you know the medicine man? <laughs> Anyways, who equips him with the primitive prosthetics, lethal ones, which the wrong son will use to hunt down the multitude of demons to reclaim his body one piece at a time. Before confronting his father on his journeys, the young hero encounters an orphan who claims to be the greatest thief in Japan. Nobody oh, is Yes. I like, <laughs> I like the wrong son. He looks cool. Midoriya. Yeah, so he's cool because like, what he can do is he can just kind of move out his arm and it's like a katana under there. Mm. His whole body is kind of like that. Oh, he's, he's like just his basically whole a sword. body? He's kind of like, for most of the part, like it, most of his body parts were like taken away by yeah. the demons. Uh-huh. So, um, he's like a living puppet almost. No, no, you know how they go like to train with the blade. You must make, you must become the blade. Yes. This guy took it a bit too far. Yeah. <laughs> I want to read these like samurai manga, like Blade of the Immortal and like Dororo and, and like, read them. Uh, L- L- Lone Wolf and Cup. Get off your high them. horse and don't wait for the. No, uh, the <laughs> official English release already exists. Then just read it. I know, but I'm reading so much. Why like, are you I'm complaining? Gunsmith cats, or about gunsmith cats, or something like. Uh, you know, she hides the pistol. Yeah. yeah. In her hand. Yeah. No, 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 like in her sleeves. Okay. Yeah, so I think. yeah, but no, this is like his sleeve is the katana. Oh, okay. He is the katana. Oh, he is the katana. Like yeah. literally, he could just take off his arm and there's like weapons. What's the one about that guy who's really underrated? That you, who did the uh, spirit, uh, spirit circle? Oh, um, Mizukami? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what mm-hmm. about him? What the, he has a samurai one as well. Oh, Sengoku Yoko. Yeah, it's Sengoku. not really samurai. There's samurai in it, but it's more about yokai and stuff. Uh, okay. But anyways, going back to Doro, I'm really looking forward to this one. The first trailer they released was fucking amazing. This is probably going to be the anime I'm like I'm looking the most forward to. I just hope they don't fuck it up so we can finally get a pr- proper Tezuka anime. Because, you know, 2018 was all about going to guys, so it's time for the god of manga to have his, like, his year. I mean, we have... There's supposedly... They've been talking about it for years. It's supposed to be like an Astro Boy reboot. But they've been talking about it for five years. Didn't, Nothing. <laughs> didn't they have a 3D animated movie a long time ago? Yes. How but that was bad. That was bad? The, not, it wasn't an American. I don't think so. But what it was, American? Um, <laughs> I think it was like some Singaporean studio, I want to say. Oh, but places. I forgot. Um, the studio was called Amagi. They, they closed down. But the Astro Boy movie it was, just, it was very uncreative. And the best example of that is usually something my friend in the anime hero likes pointing out. And the Astro Boy anime, because again, in Astro Boy, like, humanity has discovered how to use robots and everything. So they kind of use, like, they kind of use them for everything, for construction, clean buildings and everything. So in the anime, they have, like, these bug robots clean the buildings and do construction, like their ants and everything, which is really creative. And this movie, the 3D movie, is just a flying uh, spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I think I've watched it yeah oh. and I watched a bootleg copy of that one which was hilarious <laughs> because right in the middle and it was a somewhat emotional moment it just goes into Italian <laughs> so during probably the most emotional moment in the movie I couldn't understand it and I'm like mm, yeah okay but like I didn't think the movie was like super bad but like considering its source material and how creative it was and especially considering who it's is, made by is it this the, is this the one that they were like on an island that he falls off or some shit I think like so he lived on this flying island no um like it was a technological island and they fall off to like to the yeah, I mean it was I, I, I think that's, so that's Wakanda <laughs> no, no, no um the one thing you would say the whole podcast yes yeah. <laughs> now you're pulling a ring <laughs> yeah it was bound to happen I don't want to be known for this no it's okay um, Everyone has to have their gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is just not talking. Not talking. <laughs> not talking. The one he hasn't really been saying a lot. The one. Yeah, girl. yeah. You've talked a lot this podcast. Yeah, you know, taking selfies and sending me Snapchats during the podcast. <laughs> hey, that's fun. Yeah. For you, not for, for t- not for our, uh, audience. Here's the thing. Do you think Astro Boy will it holds any interest for like modern anime yeah. audiences? I, I think it can. Uh, again, there was that reboot coming out. Maybe not for, like, an older audience who didn't grow up with Astro Boy. I mean, there's always that possibility, but I think for, like, a younger audience getting into anime. Because there was an Astro Boy 2003 series, which was pretty good. I remember watching a few episodes because they dubbed it back in the day. And, you know, that was pretty great. Um, yeah, it's like an early classic suit. Actually, there might be a potential way to get, like, older audiences into Astro Boy. Because there's this manga called Pluto. 
Oh yes, yeah, so uh, I was just searching it. <laughs> which right. is like uh, basically the guy who did Monster and like 21st Century Boys and everything, uh, Naoki Urasawa, who was uh, you know massive fan of Tezuka. He sort of took a story arc from Astro Boy and sort of did it in his style, so it's like a crime ah, mystery. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think, getting an anime sometime soon. Oh, I think is? maybe this year, possibly, if not next year. Oh, God, I have to read this too? Oh, great. You can just watch the anime if it's good. Um, See, after, Monster got a good adaptation. I understand, but like, after Dragon Ball has scored me as far as manga to anime adaptations, right. I can't trust anime adaptations anymore. I have to go to the manga. Yeah, okay, listen. Dragon Ball Z was like way back when. <laughs> I know. Anime I adaptations know. have gotten slightly better over I years. know, I understand, but. It like, depends ah. on the anime. Yeah, it depends <laughs> the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, next up, before, because we still have, oof, like, yeah. a lot of anime. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Oh, God. Yeah, don't worry, yeah. we'll have a oh, lightning round. Didn't you, yeah, <laughs> you know, don't you hear about complaints every day? Like, the anime industry is making too much anime. That's what? No That's a complaint? <laughs> That's a complaint. <laughs> what? People gotta complain about shit. <laughs> trust Wait, what? me, trust me. If you go Why is that a complaint? YouTube, everybody's complaining. Why is that a complaint? Uh, because quality they're saying control. that quality is... Control is oh, going down, okay. money's not going in the right places, like unnecessary products are being I mean, made. maybe the money and products things, but like, because there's always a bunch of new studios popping up every yeah, year, yeah. and I always think for the most part, these new studios have more hope in them than a lot of the older studios, especially since the best people of like studios we all know and love, like Madhouse and whatever, these people split up from that and go make their own. Yeah. For example, with yeah. Gainax, yeah. we got Trigger. Uh, Trigger and Studio Kara. Sunrise also, right? Somebody broke out of Sunrise and did something. Mm. Like not Mappa not, came out of Madhouse. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure about Sunrise. Sunrise, I think mainly because of Gundam, they've been staying afloat. <laughs> um, there's also another thing is that, like, you know, when a new studio shows up, they'll have to they have to do an adaptation of something really popular, regardless of whether it's good or not, just so they can get money and eyes. Then they can do what they actually want to do. Mm-hmm. So they're saying that you're perpetuating this. You know, you're making adaptations of like very trashy popular yeah. stuff. Rather than I mean, I don't think that's popular. always necessarily true. Well. My example is actually not the best example because um, you're just talking about trashy. <laughs> There's Studio Lerche. I, I believe that's how you say their name. Their first anime that came out was Monster Musume. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I they, take everything back. Yeah, I take <laughs> everything back. Later on, they went to go to Assassination Classroom and a couple other things. Um, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me my titty wife who is in Assassination Classrooms are related? <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. Well, actually, no, wow. Let's talk about this for a second. Best Monster Girl in Monster Musume. I love Mia, the... Lamia, she's yeah. still best. Okay, please me. don't do this in my grief and my heat. What? <laughs> Come on! I can already feel them judging us. <laughs> Wait, no, we, we it's judge okay. Them for it's fine. Fine, Sultan, what's your <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, you told me this. Yeah. Oh, did you not watch his video? I watched it religiously. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, I milk a pilgrimage to fucking punches. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't go to pray. I just open that video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Boy. it's like. Zentor <laughs> tits, <Yeah>. fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> my second favorite is the Spider Girl, though. Arachna. Um, now, here's the thing. My favorites from the main cast or the main harem cast uh, is also Centauria. Uh, but my favorite is Zombina. Same. Oh, yeah. yeah. Zombina. She doesn't get enough like, yeah. screen time. I love these screen, Even in the manga, yeah. she doesn't get much. It's hilarious. Zombina, which is a zombie. Centauria, which is a centaur. Literally, her tit falls out. Ara- Arachnea. Arachnea is an arachnea. The, the thing that pissed me off about the names, though, it was we have a harpy named... Uh, Papi? Yeah. Papi, <laughs> and then we have the ogre girl named Tio. Yeah. In Spanish... That's like uncle and like dad. <laughs> and you have these cute monster girls. I'm like, no. Excuse me, is the harpy not your dad? I don't know what kind of dad you have. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have a I harpy dad and an older uncle. <laughs> hey, I would not mind my uncle ripping me that deal. Well, that took a turn. Uh, <laughs> uh, Data Live is getting a season three. Monster Musume is not getting a season two. That is injustice. Yeah, actually, yeah, because I remember, I, I think Lair Shade just injustice. came out with another, like, good anime. I forgot the which one it was. But, you know, they they have a pretty good lineup for themselves. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Monster Musume made the money. Especially, like, Blu-ray sales where everything's uncensored. Also, merchandising? My God. Yeah, you, yeah, you had that, like, giant hug pillow. Yes. How big was that thing? I don't know what I It was like the biggest hug pillow ever. Apparently it's like life-sized. Like oh, yeah, yeah, Life-sized yeah. to me. Like I was like, oh. Nice. Yeah. You just touched the tip of that. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that <laughs> just like a body pillow? Yes. Yeah, but this one is really popular. It's a body pillow bigger than your bed. It has the length of 
It's a lamy snake. It's I really think it's like the size of the room we're in. Salami snake ward? No, it's a lamia. the size of the whole snake. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, let's get back. It's like, oof, we've, we've been here for a while. And we're not even halfway done. So let's just speed through things. Lightning round. Put the, put oh, yeah, okay, the they did assassination fun. classroom. Okay, we're going back to Leershay. Okay, after <laughs> this, we'll go back to... <laughs> Leershay did assassination classroom both seasons. Danganronpa, I didn't like that. Oh, they did Scum's Wish? Yes. Holy crap. Okay, they did the. Uh, oh, yeah, they did Gakko Gurashi, the school lives. Oh, they did school lives. Oh, they did my, I hate Machine Doll, oh, God. Uh, oh, they did the this one. I forgot. I, Maji de Watashi Nikoi Machine Asai. Alright. Is that the fighting one? Yeah, the yes. fighting one where the guy doesn't like doesn't know how to fight and like. The... He's a tactician or something? Yeah, he's a tactician, yeah. Yeah. The whole point of that anime, I think, was him trying to get together with the red haired girl. Yeah. And everyone else is like, no, no, first no, thing no, for his big, dick. No, really muscly one that loves, like, who's a lesbian. Like, okay. kind of a lesbian. Wait, which one are we talking about? That was, wait, what are you doing? I, I'm trying to see what they've done recently. No, wait, wait. So, they're, are you talking about the one, the girl, like, she's a red haired Ah, girl? yes, they did Asobi Asobase. Oh. Uh, they, they did Asobase. No, no, they did the. Spe- uh, they did all of it. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, that, that was a good one. I, that was like one I of watched the first episode today. Oh no, no, they did they did the seven the, wait seven senses or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, they're working no. on radiant that that French comic that got an anime. Oh wait, the French are in yeah. what? Yeah, the French in Japan right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> French <laughs> animation is really good. Yeah, back to Maji de Watashi though. Yeah, he wants to get the big muscly girl, but the muscly girl is only interested in girls. And yeah, he has a hair because. No wait, that's. Is this the one you guys are talking about before? Is this the No, no, no. no is this is the one with like those big battles. There is not really big battles. Which one? Though. What is this? Can you just bring it closer? I can't really see. Okay. Because I'm thinking of something else. Oh, sorry, she's not red-haired. She is. There is a red-haired girl in it. Though. No, that's not the one. Okay, so the brown-haired girl is like that strong one who can't yeah. lose. Yeah, who can't. And lose. everyone else is thirsting for his dick. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I, I, especially I, the purple-haired yeah. one. Yeah. Back to the winter season. <laughs> Um, otherwise, you're going to be here all day. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, here here with my very good friends. Yeah. Six uh, hour podcast. Talking about anime for six hours. Yeah. Um, getting distracted from Actually, the no, we can't. I have to go home. So You can fuck off. We have right. more than enough people. Okay, that's fine. You have to go 6.30, dude. We have... No, we can't have six hours, though. It's okay, three right hours. It's already, three hours right, already just Okay, get, anyways, yeah. revisions. Next anime. It's an action sci fi mecha. This is the prophecy for you where five people will meet huge adversaries and only you can protect everyone. Wait, what? Yeah, that, that's are the, we in the anime? I guess so, right? <laughs> we are finally anime. Daisuke Tojima is a second year high school student who was adopted when he was young. He was involved in the special phenomenon, the Shibuya Drift. With his childhood friends Guy Ru and M- Mari Mari, and what were you pointing at? So, no, nothing. I just I, the studio. I'm looking into. Stop it. distracting me while I'm <laughs> reading this. Yes. Um, okay. um, I don't think I should read. This is like this is a whole story. The summary. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like okay. This, this either way, um, I have trust issues with the studio because they haven't done anything of note besides Stand by Me, Doraemon. Doraemon. Do- sorry, Doraemon. And how can you get the Neon Boo. Neon. It's, oh yeah! Okay. You don't remember this one? No, I do. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like a nice like I remember the merch box, yeah. box yeah cat box anime which you really want to watch. It's really cute. Yeah. I'm um, a Weeper Bears fan, so yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> anyways, so revision, revisions uh, doesn't really look that interesting to me. Same. I mean, I know it's a it's a mecha. It's original as well. It's original, so I, I might give it a peek, but I'm not sure if it's something that will oh, keep my interest. Not that Sinbad. Is it not? No, it it looks looks like, like, no, the oh, that's, that's the old school Sinbad. Yeah, yeah, not the Magi uh, or Magi Sinbad. Yeah, anyways. Is it Magi or Magi? Magi, I think. It's Magi? Okay. Yeah. Um, now up next is the Domestic Na Kanojo. What? This domestic one. Na domestic Na Kanojo. Do you know about that? I, uh, I, 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 it's called I Domestic dropped Girlfriend. It. Yeah, I dropped I've it. I've seen the so many of their like official English manga volumes oh. everywhere. But like I, I want I'm, I'm not in the, I'm not in the romance mood right now. I like romance stories, but I'm not in the romance mood. So yes, I, I can talk about it next time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can just gonna you just gonna skip over that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, look, I'm not into like sh- Naruto and whatever the fuck it's called. Well, why do you not like it? I, I, I don't. I oh, don't this like is never faithful bitches. Oh, this oh. is what that anime is. I think it's this one. Oh, is it? 
Or I mean, it's a shonen. <laughs> That's a very wait, wait, ballsy I... shonen story. <laughs> is it the one? I... Maybe I'm thinking of something. Anyways, okay, fine. Let's read the, the summary. Uh, Natsuo Fuji is in love with his teacher, oh, Hina. God, Attempting yeah. to forget his feelings towards her, Natsuo goes to a mixer where his classmates, with his classmates, where he meets an odd girl named Rui Tachibana. Oh, okay, I remember In a this. strange turn of events, Rui asks Natsuno to sneak out with her and do a favor. To surprise, their destination is Rui's house. Her request is... The yeah. How, how is the show to now? Yes. No, no, seriously, I still remember. Yeah, okay, now I remember. It's something else. So first first chapter, he, he goes like, uh, to, yeah, exactly, a mixer, and then she's like, yeah, you want to go out? They both leave, and she's like, yeah, let's fuck. It's like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah, let's fuck. No, no, that's his genuine reaction. He's like, wait, what? And then they fuck, and then he's like, does this mean it's like we're going out? She's like, nah, then I don't remember the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, well, it has, like, it's... do you see Titty? I don't think so. It can't be shonen if there is full on titty. Hey, listen. Hey, when it's I was possible 14, depending on the magazine. <laughs> when I was 14, I would love to see some titties. Actually, the, there was a lot of shonen jump. But like through the 80s and 90s, there were a lot of shonen. That was the 80s and 90s, man. Yeah, Gundam. They watched the Gundam, uh, first Gundam anime, titties. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but that was 70s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back in my day. Back in my day. Okay, okay anyways, we, are, we like, got. Really wait, Suzuka Productions. Oh. What? Okay, anyways, a uh, go-to bun no honey yome. Yes, close enough. Oh, th- <laughs> thank you, Sensei. <laughs> yes, uh, so. Can you go to the studio, please? I want to see. Oh, you want to see the studio? Yeah, I want to see if this is the actual Tezuka Productions I'm thinking of. So why are they doing this? This has nothing to do with Tezuka. Oh, it is. What? No, it does. I mean, they've, they've made the, ka- the gashi. But yeah. So it makes sense. Oh, is this the Astro Boy one you Yeah. About? Okay, anyways, that's... Oh, the, same, the same one that's doing Dororo. Yeah. 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 yeah, same one. Okay, I guess they also do other things on the side. Um, anyway, so Futaro Usugi is a poor antisocial A student who one day meets the rich transfer student, Utsuki Nanakao. They... How did you fuck that one up so hard? It's Itsuki. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, how did it become Utsuki? <laughs> <laughs> so they're really, really fast. It's under pressure. It's okay, nah, I'm, I'm under pressure. <laughs> It's Damn okay. it, why can't they give him English names? Why can't she just be Big Titty McGee? <laughs> Big Titty McGee? Big Titty McGee Rachel? <laughs> yeah. they, they argue, but when... <laughs> Who is Suki? Realizes he is, has to be her tutor, he tries to get on better terms. While trying to do so, he meets four other girls. This, oh. this, oh, this, this makes... This is not the summary, by the way. <laughs> It's, it's close, not. but it has not... Okay, the whole point is those five are quintuplets. Ah, the girls. Did yeah. I miss that part? No, I don't think it's written. No, oh, no, okay. it's, in, it's in the English name. Oh! This is no. the English name. This is the best The name. quintessential Five quintu- Tuba no Hanoyame, the five wedded brides, the quintessential quintuplets. Yeah. So, okay. cute. the point is... I realize co- the tutor, he's going to their house of tutor room. <laughs> Yeah. While also trying to give him a side of his dick. No, no, no. That actually doesn't happen. Yeah, so... It does, okay, so you know about this I, I'm up to date. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, so the point is that he's like a poor guy. Like, literally, like, dirt poor. And he needs to study to be able to get a job and whatever. So he's taking this tutoring job because they're rich quintuplets. And they all suck at studying. Like, horrible. The rich bastards. Yeah, so... He's just tutoring them, and they slowly fall in love with him. Like that's the best summary I could give you. All right. Yeah. But does the romance go anywhere? Because it it's, has here in the text. It's kind of they're, they're in this. Okay, here's the thing. There's this one scene that they keep teasing, but in the manga it works. But here it doesn't work because each one has a different hair color. But in the manga, because they all have like white hair, because oh, whatever, uh-huh. they show you a scene of him getting married to one of them, but they all look alike. Oh. So you don't know who it is. I don't know how they're going to do that. They can skip it probably. Or they can no, make it or, show or, like, or like, they can just hide the hair. Hide the hair with the, with the veil. No, because yeah. the, the manga just revealed how they used to take each other's places. Because like before you'd see them like all, for example, the pink haired girl. Sorry, the red haired girl. They all are wearing the same, they have the hair, same hairstyle. In the manga, they never said that they were wearing wigs until like the latest chapters because the anime is coming. They got to 
explain how the fuck they all have different hair colors. Oh, I, I love the character designs though for the girls. They look really cute. Yeah, they they, yes. they look cute. Uh, brown haired girls is best waifu. Fuck That's y'all. what I meant. Uh, what? Is, is she big titty biggie? They uh, all have the same size tits though. I think. Yeah, I, think I mean they're quintuplets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the only difference between them is their hairstyle nice. and maybe their personality. If you care oh, that about makes that. animation a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, no, there are multiple scenes where they just dress up as each other. That's the whole point. How's the comedy though? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty it's good? uh, it's very basic rom com. Does it tickle your funny bone? <laughs> <laughs> it tickles something else. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> got him. Anyways, yeah. so next up we got. <clears throat> <laughs> you want, you, that would just skip to the English one. No, 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 you gotta do Can it. Can I try reading? Oh, yeah, fine. Let yeah, me yeah, yeah, let read. Fukigen na mono no kyan. Suzuki? Yeah. Yes, it's the second. Hey. It's the second season of what she just said. Yeah. Which I, I remember hearing about it. It's like you probably know more about I it. I watched one episode also. All right. I just know the begin. Okay, I'm not 100 percent sure about the beginning, but basically, all I can remember from this anime is him being on a rooftop, meeting a little white fluffy yokai, which is probably in the yeah, image. Yeah, in the picture. Yeah. And the blonde guy's like, "Yeah, you're my servant now." And like, <laughs> I think he's also a yokai, oh. and he's like, "Yeah, you're my servant. You're gonna help me catch other yokais." And that's literally all I remember. Oh, okay. Well, it's getting a second season. It's a web manga done by a uh, Piero Plus. Oh, the same, same people that did Beals Bub and Tokyo. Same Mordering. people. Yeah, same people. Oh wow. Same oh, sh- they did Sabagebu. Oh yeah, all of them. Okay. Oh, wow. I have faith in this now. Do you? Uh, listen, just because it go- comes from a good studio doesn't mean... I know, I know, but yeah, like, at, it makes me like, you know, I've, I'm like, okay, you have like, good track record, like a nice track Madhouse record. Madhouse had a good track record. Well, Madhouse, I mean, Madhouse, 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 I know what happened after that guy. Right? It wasn't that bad. bad. Well, the first episode was fine, afterwards. What? What? Meals above. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna like read it? it, though. The anime wasn't that good. The manga, I liked it up to a certain point. Uh, I mean, I, I read it all the way through. Oh, yeah. But like, after a while, it became more... Focused on being an action shonen. I'm like, mm. I, I, last thing I liked was when they fought that. Was he orange haired? Like the uh, orange haired big bad guy, whatever. In like high school, school the yeah. volleyball one? Uh, don't I think remember. they played volleyball. But like, no, he's like the other guy who had a tattoo of the uh, demon symbols. Ah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. I forgot his name. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Feels Dude, after that, it's like, oh, you destroyed the school. We're going to go to another school now. And yeah. Like, I, I just. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Beelzebub was really fun in the beginning yeah. and then afterward I mean there's still really great comedy sprinkled throughout but like I think it kind of lost its way a bit but moving on we have another dark magical girl with uh, Maho Sojo Tokusosen Asuka magical girl spec ops Asuka yes so I'm not even going to read summary for this y'all know what it is it's magical girls and lolly getting... girls who shoot shit yes and is it getting... lolly? Are they long? I don't prob- think they're long. Probably I don't think they look old in the. But, okay, but okay. magical girls, not magical women. <laughs> I mean, uh, no. They, they by the way, part of girls. by the way, no, the but studio no. Studio that's doing the dark magical girls show did these. Um, yes, the, the audience could. Koi oh, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh no, no, that's Gimba. They probably had a small role in it, but Gimba's the main studio oh. responsible for that. They made. Oh, okay, no, no. Let me Wait, see. Who, who's the real studio? Linden Films. Okay, no, they did Hana Bando. Hana Bando. Yeah, that one. That's that actually. The Berserk second season. Oh, but they did Killing Bite. Yeah. Okay. The the Batman one was a lot better. That was animated. Hanabando, yeah. yeah. Hanabando. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we got Piano No Mori. Oh yes. Season, which I think is on Netflix. Yes, now? it is. I actually binged it yesterday. Really? <laughs> yes. So you're all ready for this then? Because I haven't seen it. Ninety percent of the anime is just him playing the piano. Not nice. even joking. They don't like skip through it like, oh, that was a beautiful performance and then there's character development. <laughs> no, it's just him playing the piano. So is it worth it? Oh, if you like piano, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm going to watch second season because I love music and piano and music. All like, right, whatever. nice. And then I think this other one's music related. You got Bang! No, it's Bang! Oh, <laughs> bang! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second season. Yes. It's... Second season of Bango Dreams. Okay. Dream of series. Not a hotel. That's it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, know, it's the second season of this. You like the first season? Watch it. Yeah, um, yeah. That that helps. It. I think does she have like animal? No, that's just her hair. Okay, I thought she had animal. This is a studio that did Bang the Dream. 
Black Sansigan. Rock. Okay, please let's just stop looking at the studios. It's, it's wasting <laughs> it way too so much time. Because it takes so much time. Yeah, and then like, it, well, you gotta say something about each one. No, no. Yeah, we said that this is the second season. You like we, first one? Watch yeah. this. <laughs> That's it. The girl <laughs> looks cute. She she's hard. Is that an instrument? Oh, the only genre is music. Yes. Wait, the only genre. Yeah, even <laughs> even piano no more has more genres. Than yeah. <laughs> piano no more is comedy drama music school Satan. This is Satan. just music. What? <laughs> Anyways, next okay. up we got. Oh, this is. Oof, mama Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Do kyoin wa hizu He's up. toki He's up. doki atama no ue. What? Uh, this doesn't even have an English, so you're gonna have to just stick with it. It has no English name. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Japs. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Gonna lose your okay, right. Uwe means up. That's all I know. Oh, Done. Okay. Something, 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 something <laughs> up. <laughs> you know what else is up? <laughs> Please say the full name. You didn't finish it. He did. I did. I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where were you? Please do not let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Novelist Subaru Mizu- <laughs> Mikazuki, who is shy and not good with other people in Haru. The candle. <laughs> Okay, no, the way you read it, the sentence formation made it sound that he's not good at other people and horror. <laughs> well, that's how, that's how it makes it seem. No, there's a comma. The other people and Haru. Yeah. The cat that has been living a severe stray life. Oh, poor cat. Wait, is this what I think it is? What do you think it is? There's a manga where. Oh shit, it is this one. Okay, so he picks up the cat, and each. And there's like. The same scene, but two chapters for each. One chapter is his point of view, one chapter is a, p- a cat's point of view. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, yeah, really nice. Oh, you actually just finished the last part of the synopsis. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, this actually it's, sounds nice. It's a really good... I love okay. it. It's like, the guy goes like, I don't understand this cat. What the fuck does it want? Then like, you see its point of view. It's like, what the fuck does this human want? <laughs> yeah, just, I'm definitely Do you know the it. English I name? No, I, 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 don't, I don't even remember the I Japanese name. I do not care name. at all for this next one. I'm not going to say anything. Okay, Kimono Friends Season 2. Mm, no, I don't know. I, I heard there was like something shitty. I'm not sure if it like officially happened or not. I think they kicked out the creator of the original series. Yeah, yeah, something project. happened. There was some controversy with this. That's all I know. Yeah. All I know is that there's a lot of gacha with this. Yeah. A lot Wasn't of what? Gacha, gacha game? I don't know. Like you know those games that where you put like a yen or coin or whatever, and then you get like a small toy. Oh. Like okay. I, when I was in Japan, I saw a shit ton of this. Sanjay like, had those. Right? Yeah, but not compared to this. Literally, every gacha like area, there's at least five of these. I, I know it developed a fan base since there's like lore behind it. Yeah, there's Wait, what? Uh, yeah, people say there's lore behind it. People have theories on how the world came to be. Some say it's Is this the popular. FNAF of anime? The Five Nights of Freddy's Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, I, I don't know because it doesn't jump scare you. What is it, this? It jump cutes you. Oh. It, definitely, it definitely has its fan base. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Girly Air Force. Well, you said that quick. <laughs> I mean, how could English? <laughs> Official English. <laughs> See, this anime knows what's up. Anyways, let's hope so. It's an action sci-fi. It's about mysterious flying creatures known as Zai, which suddenly appear, and in order to fight the creatures, mankind creates fighter aircrafts called daughters. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, yeah, what? Yeah, create daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as well as the automatic fighting mechanism Anima, which are shaped like human girls. Course. Human girls. The story centers on a young man named K. Narutani who yearns to fly in the sky, and an anima considered to be humanity's trump card, a girl named Grippin. This sounds. Um, this stinks. <laughs> this stinks of. This stinks of like how like of like just pure corporate marketing on how we're going to like make money off this. Like, the, there's no. There's no. Like genuine, like oh, it's anything. based on a light novel. I and also that I want it now to be the best anime of the season, just to fuck with you. <laughs> if it is fine, I'll gladly take my words back. But it just it, it stinks. Of, I don't like, know. For me, when I see a light, grab. I, I've I've seen a lot of light novels turn into amazing animes. Like I feel like the chances of a light novel being a good anime is higher than a chance for a manga to be a good anime. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just feel like especially with light novels, their stories obviously since they don't have much action their stories are usually better mm-hmm. so it's weird seeing girly air force looks like an action thing because i know yeah, they're gonna maybe software. fight yeah. like giant monsters but it's like the whole thing that oh they turned into girls why they didn't daughters into, and i don't no, know they didn't turn into girls they created robots that are girls why i mean to me because you know, anime like, titties <laughs> what about me? the actual girls in the world then who needs them if you no, think these, if you these think... are specifically created to fight these things, they yeah. just happen to look like girls. Which I could have sworn 
there are similar concepts like yeah. this. Oh, like, they're, they're, they're very beautiful. Right now, yeah. The thing is, looking at the posters, those jets look horrible. Yes, they do. <laughs> they hurt oh, my oh. eyes. It's oh. girly. No, it's not. It's red, yellow, and animal <laughs> turquoise. And are, are you saying a normal jet can't be, like, belong to a girl? Ream? <laughs> No, Why can't you support the other one? Dragon Dragon Pilot. Are you saying there can't be a girly Air Force? How sexist. Yeah. Why couldn't it just be I'm a so normal confused. Air Force? I'm so tr- fucking triggered right now. <laughs> I'm so confused. We're, we're confused. calling you sexist for saying that girls can't have normal jets. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to move on from that hot take and move on to Ueno san wa Bukio. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. I got Senpai's approval. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, San, who is in her third year of junior high school, is in love with the concept of falling in love. She <laughs> doesn't look like her. Yeah, I know. It's like a weird <laughs> panty shot, but like it goes into like a black hole. It's really weird. Oh, um, and her face. Yeah, I know. She's and the date's on the panties, the date of the release. Real? Oh, God. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um... Yeah, she makes full use of her inventions and tries to show it off to Tanaka, her science club kohai. Who is going to be the love interest, I'm assuming? I know, it's a comedy romance seinen. I, it looks like it might be funny. I might, like, watch I the feel first like it's, episode. It's probably, is it a manga? It is. A, yes, it's based off a of manga. It's probably a four coma. It sounds like what a four coma would be. True, yeah. Probably. And those normally yeah. are funny. But That's, see, uh, my anime list, if it's a four coma, they have a tag for it. So the tag's not there. I don't know. It feels like those. Anime- what does my anime list even know? Yes, it's not. What is mine. it? A list about my anime? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny. Oh. It was to me. No, it wasn't. Wow, you sound genuinely offended. <laughs> <laughs> I expect that a comedy from my friend, from my friends. Anyways, up next we got an anime from Bandai Namco Pictures, B Project. Zetro Emotion. <laughs> uh, Zetro Story. Asterisk Emotion. <laughs> That's what I'm not going to pronounce nasty. It's Zetro Times Emotion. Which is the second season. I, I don't even know when the first B project came out, but it's done by Bandai Namco. Um, I think it's a bunch of music. And words? it's a music yeah. shoujo. Music shoujo. It's so, basically like, you know, Idol Master. I'm guessing this is the male yeah, counterpart. Like, yeah. See, this is what something that like reeks of money. That uh, Girl Air Force doesn't? Yeah, it doesn't. Dude, this is done by Bandai Namco. <laughs> Uh, both of them are cash grabs. Both of them are. Okay, anyways, we're going to go with... Your and official English is a cash grab. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. It's hey, actually hey, a cash Hey, 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 hey. Those are licensed. Yeah, licensed cash grabs. No, they're not. <laughs> Shame on you. You still have to pay for it. Yeah. I don't. You have to. Oh, no. <laughs> the truth has come out. The truth. Anyway. I'll, I'll buy them all later when I have my own income. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, anyways, going up next, we have an original from Studio Gokumi... Endro, which has a bunch of cute girls in the cover. Um, Naro Island, a continent. Oh, a continent? How's an island? Okay, anyways. With swords and magic in which humans and monsters coexist. The terrible demon king lives there. In ancient times, the first generation hero defeated the demon king. Over the many successful generations since, the demon king has been resurrected. And this is just, okay, this is. Very, very isekai. Yes, like, yeah. Basically isekai and Demon King. Whatever. But it's a slice of life in the genre, so yeah, there's not much of, fighting. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, seeing the picture, I can see which one's a Demon King. And I can oh, guess. Oh, yeah. Can, I can oh, guess. She looks so cute, though. This is what's going to happen. The, the cheerful, because like, uh, I kind of read ahead, but yeah, the cheerful warrior is going to go, it's like, yeah, I don't want to fight the Demon King. She's like, oh, okay. And then they'll just be friends, and that's the, how the anime is going to end. I'm calling it. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll hold you to it. Yeah. Um, when I get rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, up next, we have Grimm's Notes, the animation from Brain's Base. Uh, That's a nice name for a studio, Brain's Base. Yeah, they did Bacano and I think Bloodlet. Um, oh. Anyways, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a video game adaptation. The game takes place in a world created by beings known as storytellers. Okay, Japan needs to really pick better names for the like extra. No, see, like, the way that just starts off, isn't that most stories in general? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you gotta keep in mind the translation from Japanese to English. Well, it might different. be some pun, yeah. 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 Okay. At birth, all inhabitants of the world are bestowed with the Book of Fate, where all their lives are written in advance. Okay, so this is like Future Diary, right? 
Uh, however, rogue storytellers, known as chaos tellers, oh, are writing <laughs> bad events into people's books without them knowing. Never mind. <laughs> Those damn tricksters. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to the holders of the blank books of fate to seek out the chaos tellers and restore the world. Are you going to skip it or skip it? It sounds familiar. There was yeah, exactly. I feel like I've heard of something Same, I've, like I've this. I've seen this premise before. This sounds like an of like the book where your whole life is written on something no, like I, that. Yeah, here's the thing. There's I don't know if it was an anime or manga. But I just remember one scene where basically a guy was like, you have to become like one of these storytellers or whatever. Like in that manga or anime, he has to give up his own book and his own like uh, fate, and then he can become one of them. I just remember a scene like that. Sounds so familiar. Also, Falcon, do we have to go forward? I think we've done enough. No. No, we'll fuck, no. Finish this. fuck we'll you. Fuck you. finish this? Yes. We will finish what we started. Yes. There's the nothing man of my much work. left. There is. Said. Okay. Yeah. We can do okay, it like we'll, 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 we'll go through things that I find interesting. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Or that we've heard of. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. here, by Studio Gemba, the wonderful people that brought us to Berserk 2016. Oh, yeah. And 17, we have Kyoya no Kotobuki. Hikotai, <laughs> which kind of looks like girly Air Force, but CG. Is it CG? Is it fully CG? I mean, it's Gimba. They're mainly known for their. Oh, well, fuck what, them. What, what if they pull a fast one? <laughs> it's doesn't, CG. doesn't that character kind of look like a CG model? Wait, wait. I'm, the play, I'm, playing, I'm playing the teaser. I'm playing the teaser. Okay. Make sure it's on low volume. Nah, it's mute. Don't worry. So we're just going to sit in silence. It's 30 seconds. It's 30. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'll skip through it. If, uh, wait one second. Why are you not? Looks. Oh yeah, there yeah, it is. There it is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That is. that's not that bad. Actually. You know, yeah, it looks better than Berserk. True. <laughs> Everything looks better, <laughs> better than Berserk, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll see. But anyways, uh, it's an action military adventure in a barren frontier where people trade goods with each other in order to help each other survive. The Kotobuki Squadron are bodyguards for hire, led by a strict but beautiful squadron leader. Mm. And unreliable commanding officer and a true artisan of, of a crew chief um there's more to be said but uh yeah there's I'll... a big titty one i like the big titty one it's it's <laughs> basically <Big titty. laughs> she's wearing like your like the curtain look look i'll tell you what it is it's strike witches but instead of flying brooms it's planes oh god strike witches yeah. well, that brings back some memories yeah I, I didn't see it i watched two episodes dropped in i the watched movie. everything including the movie with the hope of the Why season do you three do this few i don't stop i hate stopping things i started even those animes i said i dropped first episode i'm gonna get back to them oh. why you because i hate i hate not finishing something but you don't have to you hate it i hate not focus finishing. on what you like I You've run out. You can't run out. Of things I like, yes. No, you go to find go to different mediums. Go to movies, TV, shows, comic books. Yeah. Go to a channel called Mr. Falcon Punch. Look you, at you, think, you think I didn't? Have <laughs> <laughs> you just seen abundance of views increasing? That's uh, that's probably me. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, violence action. Uh, the Tokusatsu one. The Good cooking uh, mafia one. The, you mafia. have so many. The guy who's the mafia member that comes to house. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Go to Toku. You haven't touched Toku yet. Tokusatsu? Yeah, yes. you haven't touched Tokusatsu well, yet. I don't know. That's the thing. I like, even movies. I don't really like movies. In series, I'm okay with. See, Tokusatsu is live action anime. That's the thing. And it's a series. I'll try it. We can. We have to do a weekly Common Rider show. Sure. Um, after. Uh, we can both watch Double together. Yeah, oh, sure. Um, and then when a. If we continue this podcast when Geo is finished, we could. No, but Geo's anniversary. I know. I said after when it's finished. No, but then nobody knows except you, like all the references. No, no, we could all finish the next common writer. Oh, okay, all right. We have to be clear. If you wait, he'll finish his sentence and you'll get the point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn it! Next anime, Dimension High School. Oh God! I oh, I, I'm actually interested just for the. P- this six. has no studio attached to it. My what? main reason. For wanting to read about this, is first is its original. Second, in the picture, the ball has a face. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. the premise. This and this like has so many questions attached. Like, does the ball know about this? Does it like being kicked? Wait, tell them the premise first. Wait, wait. So it's an isekai, but real life people are being transported to an anime world, not another world, an anime world. Yes, where they play dimension high school football. Where they're, oh, they're soccer, all in soccer, soccer, sorry, American. You know what? 
I, I'm gonna watch this, all of it, and while it's up to date. Same. It's it's gonna be the anime of the season. <laughs> Um, up next and will be the last one we'll talk about which is Stop. Renshi okay. Ikona-chan which is a, a fun dark four coma manga about the real life no real question mark yeah, life the, yeah the real question mark life of the author a single woman in Tokyo who drifts through relationships and works at various hostess clubs and the like lots of commentary on bird of prey girls who use the cuteness and affect stupidity <laughs> In order to try to score men. I've heard this somewhere before. Somebody else was talking about I was about talking it. about this. We were, were talking about yeah. it a couple weeks ago. Really? Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were looking at this. Oh, wait, was this the one where you come... Oh, that was something else. Never no, this is... Remember when we saw... We were like, why are all their tits like censored with like the name or something? Oh. Okay. So, I'll watch this too. Yes. Anyways, um, that about wraps it up for the... Uh, no, wait, what are the leftovers? <laughs> or, no, we're going to look at left... Wait, the what the fuck? What? Icky Tosin's coming back? Wait, what? What, you want? what is this? It's an OVA though. Yeah, okay. For those that don't know, Ikitosin's another ecchi anime um, that I, I slightly watched when I was younger. You know, slightly watched? Refer, it... refer back to episode 3 of the Punchcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, isn't this the martial arts one? Yes, but like everyone's clothes rips off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, tissue. it's just the one about... The dragon girl or something. Shit, I don't remember. It's based on a Chinese war, and if you don't know the Chinese war, it's confusing. Do you watch it? No, I don't, you don't know. Because you don't know what's happening? It, it, this is modern time. Yeah, yeah, I think something about this that has like everyone like losing their clothes after a single punch. I, I think that requires some knowledge to watch it. <laughs> no. Ah, yes, I have experience in Chinese novels. Now I understand. No, because apparently this is based on... Oh my god, this has like, so many sequels. Christ. Yeah, I know. It's like, I thought it was finally dead and it came back. Kind of, it's go, it keeps going. It doesn't stop. Because money... Oh yeah, thing. fine. So apparently, like, if you read the manga, it's really confusing. Uh, so if you don't know the history behind whatever Chinese word they're like retelling, you won't get anything because it'll feel like things are just happening at random. Are you trying to talk about the movies? Uh, I mean, there's movies coming out. We got like a Code Geass movie. Geass. Yeah, Code Geass. Yes, Geass. A, a Code Fate Stay Night movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. We got a Code Fate Stay Night. We got Yojo Senki the movie. Um, I just like the studio name. The studio is not. Nice. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. Trinity Seven has movies. Yep, dude. The Made in is still going. A movie, but it's a compilation movie. Yeah, oh, there's still another one there. Yeah, no, um, no. Dungeon, whatever it's called. What's it called? This Don Machi. Oh, yeah, Don Machi. Yes, yeah, psychopath. Yeah. To which I say yes because you don't know where that girl's been. <laughs> no, you don't know Dirty. if she's been raped by an yeah. orc or not. You don't know goblins have gone to her. Yeah, did you not watch Goblin Slayer? Yeah. You got a Psycho Pass movie. Oh, a City Hunter movie. Oh, also, not so. What? Movie? When was that happening? I heard no news about that. March 15, weird. apparently. Okay, well, okay, no, we're going ahead. Why is this on this winter season? Anyway. Technically, it's still part of the winter animes. March? It's That's the end. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I gotcha. I like, gotcha. I think March 20 would be like the last week or whatever that everything airs. Anyways, guys, out of all this anime that's coming out, which one are you looking forward to beside Dimension High School? Because obviously, <laughs> obviously, that's going to be the anime of the Do season. you like Big Titty Anime Girls as much as we do? Yes. Reem is Listen, giving a very Reem, you, you, you like smooth titty anime <laughs> men. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I okay, she likes the, she likes free guys. That's why he sweats. Hey, say. free is good. I watched. <laughs> it. Yeah, I do. The animation looks beautiful. Like, no, it's I actually interesting. I actually liked the story. This I get flack. Wait, I, it actually has a story. Yeah, it's interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you watched it? Did not know I that. watched like the first two episodes. Oh, come on, you gotta oh, finish wow. it. He's yeah. watched oh, more yeah. than you. Actually, we recently I'm just... more gay than you. <laughs> <laughs> we actually just discovered as well that uh, Reem likes big, muscly men. So big Jojo, yeah. Toriko. So you like uh... big, titty men. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hey, those are chests. Man chests. Man tits. Man chests. Equality. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I just had a weird thought. What's that? Uh, K- Kinika Man? Is that... Yeah. So technically, Kinika Man is like the male version of a girl with a plastic bag on her head like a bikini girl yes do you like Kinnikuman? Uh-huh. I mean Kinnikuman I mean do you see his old... face I have his face is Kinnikuman. actually a mask yeah oh that's okay. not his real face his real face is actually so handsome when he takes off his mask 
Miracles happen. <laughs> Legit. It yeah, happens yeah, in the manga. Yeah. They're, like, they're looking at the sewer, takes off oh. his mask, the light oh. shines. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. They're pointing at a almost full reveal of his face. Yeah, you don't ever see his face properly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but his lips, though. <laughs> what happened to the lips? What, what do you mean what happened to the lips? His lips just disappeared. Well, see, again, the mask is supposed to make him look that way. That's like the... the Anyway, I don't know if this is racist, but that looks like the old Afro. Like you know how these. Oh no, there's, there's a there's a Kaniku man great who is black. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Don't, doesn't this look like the old style of drawing? Kind like, of, but black the people? early Kaniku man was slightly racist, I guess you could say. Oh, that's messed up. I mean, Japan because, is still is still sexist. So yeah, I mean, no, because sure. like the Indian superhero is named Curry Cook, and he's like this skinny brown guy with big lips, and he has a curry dish on his head. Can we please see that? Yeah. No, do, do, you, do you want to know what's the best racist thing Japan did? What? Uh, punch out. Did you see? Oh, you, yeah, you, yeah. You know, like how Glass Joe is like just basic, like Glass Joe's like making fun of French for being skinny and always oh losing. Oh my yeah. god! Oh, have you seen Curry Cook? Yes. yes. Is he? Does he have a? Is that yeah. Curry on top? Oh, sorry, sorry, yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, you know, Kaniku Man is the type of series where. An OP villain is a guy who's basically a urinal with a shit on his head. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stick with yes, Kaniku Man is a great a series. If you haven't checked it out yet, definitely do. Has some of the most wild it out there <laughs> uh, designs. Yes. Yes. Um, I don't know. This big muscly man doesn't interest. You don't like Kaniku Man? I mean, okay, no, see, there's other characters in Kaniku Man I think you like. There's the American superhero Terry Man, who's all about taxes. All of my. All about taxes? Texas. Oh, oh okay. taxes. I mean, that's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't really show him because. There's also Robin Mask, who is like. The Robin human. Masks? Robin. Yeah, he's. Like a Robin Hood kind of thing? Well, he's like dressed up like a knight. But, oh, okay. Uh, you know, fancy British man who fights for Ooh. justice, except when he doesn't, because the writing is very inconsistent. I see it. So there's times where he's like just killing people just because. Yeah. Um, that is just. Wars Man, the badass Russian. Ah. Cyborg. Is there a German? Yes, and he's a Nazi. Yes. But he's also a good guy. Hey, you know the only oh, anime. Also, like JoJo. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, wait, here's the thing the only anime with a good German, like, Nazi. Is Hitalia. Good German Nazi? Yeah. Actually, no, this one, he's a superhero, but he's still a Nazi. <laughs> so you know in this series, if there's ever a Jewish kid that needs help. <laughs> he's not that is this bullshit, ha! <laughs> yeah, and his like super move is called the Red Rain of Berlin. <laughs> what about Saga? Uh, so wait, what's that? Tanya Saga? Some, the, the guy who turns into a girl and works for the Nazis. What? Oh, was it no- actually Nazis? Wasn't it Nazis? What, what, what? No, the that guy that, who got died. In Yojo Europe. Senki? Yeah, that one. Okay, it's not exactly Nazis, but it's like an alternate Earth yes. in the past. Yeah. So literally at one point, he, he's like, oh, this is exactly what the Nazis did. And then he, the enemies let, okay, so their country let the enemies go away, which exactly happened also in World, like in World War II, where Germany let France run away. And then France got the rest of the world to help them. And then he's like, oh shit, no, guys, you have to kill them right now. They're like, what the fuck? But anyways... Yes, German little girls. Going back to what I was saying way earlier, out of all the anime we talked about, which one are you guys looking forward to the most? Hexbeard, go. <laughs> he was sleeping throughout the whole podcast, just so you people know. Oh, he's actually... Okay, you're just leaving? You said go. No, I said go choose what is your favorite. What's your more... Like, the anime that you're looking forward to. That From the list that we said that you didn't hear. Mob Psycho Whatever. Season 2, yeah. okay. Mob Done. Reem. I, I don't even remember some of them now. Can okay, I, what, like, what do you remember? Their... Wow. No, what you remember is the one that you like. Wow. Most. No, let me just go. After all my ones. wonderful pronunciations. I, I'll go last. Words. You guys go. All right, I'll, I'll go. go. I'll go. I think for me, it's... <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's going to be Cover Your Love is War, probably. All right. All right. I'm really interested to see how that... Oh, and, oh. and Dororo. Okay. Yeah, same, actually. Dororo. All right. So, so Yes, uh, other than you, uh, Shield Hero. Oh, okay, other than yeah, Shield Hero. Yeah, because that's... Dimension High School. Yeah, yeah, Shield Hero and Dimension High School, like, they're given, so I'm gonna yeah. knock, knock them off. I'm actually interested for Boogie Pop. Oh. <laughs> See, this whole time until I actually read it right here in front of you guys, I thought it was Boogie Pop. Oh. 
And then I actually properly read it. And I'm like, oh, it's Boogie Pop. <laughs> I don't it's know which worse. Is it. Got pop. Yeah. Worse. <laughs> Gotta pop that boogie. Um. So for me, it's between. Oh, sorry. No, oh, okay. actually, Piano No More. Ah, yes. Yeah. No, I you forgot. Watch that. Yeah, Piano No More is. Actually... Uh, for me, it's either Mob Psycho or Dororo, or there's one other one beside that that I thought. Oh, the, the one with the cat. The, oh the yeah. Oh yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Those the, three are the ones I'm looking. The one for. with the really long. How are we gonna refer to that now? Just the anime uh, with the cat. Like, no, the, trust me. Don't any of these long named anime is man chilling with his pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Any of these long named anime, they eventually get a nickname. Yeah, it will it'll probably be known as DTA. Yeah, or no, like you know how like the, the tongue. Like it's not my fault. I'm not popular. Like they got like to what was it, like Watemote or yeah, something. Like yeah, Watemote. Yeah, Watemote. Yeah, yeah, so I'm pretty sure this will be like. Guys, I think we're gonna get interrupted. Anyways, goodbye. We are signing off. The janitor is looking at us. Bye. <laughs>